going to go over a quick overview of Easy Ad Creator today. I've already installed it and you can see if you click on that you can list all the ads that are currently in your system, create a new ad, also look at some settings and statistics on any existing ads. So we're going to go ahead and create an ad. Just going to call this test ad. Just leave it on the first layout on the, the left there. Give it a link. Title. Tagline and a description. You can also insert media here and anything else that's on your WYSIWYG editor. Button text and choose an icon. And you can get a preview before you save of how it looks at the moment. Go ahead and create the ad. Choose whether to publish it immediately or not. You can look at different sizes of ads. We'll just leave it at auto for the moment. Background color you can select. You can use a gradient, if you like, on the, the, the background color. Choose the font from a, a range that are available. You can choose whether to have a border or not, whether to have the border radius, which in effect just rounds the corners off. Button style, let's choose flat and clean looking. Icon position, we'll put as the top left. Lifetime, you can choose a from and to date. You can choose whether to display in mobile or not. You can apply effects like linear bounce etc. And you can have audio on the ad also. And you can have a close link turned on or off. So let's go ahead and create this ad. If we go to we'll go to a page, you can use posts or pages. And for the benefit of this demonstration, I'm going to use my free members page. And if we scroll down a little, we can add an ad. And we'll choose the test ad that we just created. And you can place it in the top left, center, right, bottom left, center or right. Let's place it in the bottom right and add the ad to the page. Update. If we go to that page, you can see there's nothing here at the moment. So let's refresh. And you can see the ad appears on the bottom left where we told it with the appropriate information in it and a button to download the image cam. And it takes it to the page that has been defined for image cam. You can see it stays in place in the bottom right hand corner as we scroll down the page. 
Let's choose another page. Image cam members, for instance. And you can see it's now disappeared because it's on the member login page. If I just log in, you can see it's still not there because we've not specified it should appear on this page. And that just about covers a, a quick introduction. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.